Yes. yes. Hmm? Okay. Did you find Did you find any difficulty in understanding? No, ma'am. Things are quite clear. Yes. yes. Okay. We have to start with this, or have we finished with it? Because it's written over here, page. Uh, ma'am, we have finished this. We have finished. Okay. Yes. The menarche, menstruation, menopause. We have done that. Okay. Yes. If I ask you, fine. Now I am going to ask you, what is menarche? Who can explain? Okay. What menarche. is menstruation? What is menstruation? First, we start with that. Then only menarche and menopause will come. Okay. So, what is menstruation? You can write. You can say. Not right. You can say in your own words as well. You welcome better. Say, what is menstruation? Don't be silent. No, please don't be silent. Hello, girls. Yes, ma'am. Say, what is menstruation? You can write it, uh, or you can speak it in one word. You can say it in one sentence. You can say it in two, three, as you wish. No one knows. I'm shocked. This is study, beta. This is education. Please, don't feel shy. Even boys are giving me answers. I expect girls to be more practical. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Do you hear me or not? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Yes. So say, what is menstruation? The other word of menstruation is period, right? You agree with me? Yes. Yes, fine. Yes. What happens in period? Monthly bleeding, periodical, right? Period is what? Periodically it comes. Every month it comes. Yes or no? Twenty-eight days duration or thirty days duration? Is it clear? Yes. Keep things away. Who you are, I don't want. You are my student. I am your teacher. We are learning something. We are learning about a body. That's it. Nothing should come in your mind. If it comes in your mind, you will be hesitant. Better, you will not be able to give me a proper answer, in spite of you knowing it very well. So don't feel shy. Don't be fearful. Then only you will be able to express. Nothing is bad and nothing is good. Better, take it the way it is. But is it okay with you now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I taught you everything, and if I don't get any answer. You are making me disappointed. I will only, I can only say that I am sorry. Okay, leave your shyness and come out with your answers, please. I would not know how, whether you know or not. That how can I assess you? How can I analyze you? That means whatever I taught you went into vain. It's useless. I will feel that way. Is it better if you don't give me answer? Okay. So what is happening in uh, menstruation? The egg, which is released by the ovary, is removed from the body along with the uterine wall, and that uterine wall is making you bleed. Do you get me? The ovary is not bleeding. The ovum, not ovary. The ovum, the egg, is not getting the blood. From where the blood is coming, beta? What did I say just now? Wall. Exactly. <coughs> Which wall, beta? You're absolutely right. Which wall? Ovary wall. No, 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 no. Which wall is that? Uterine wall. Yes. Uterine wall. Every month, the wall of the uterus become thick. Now it is not required by the body, so the wall is removed from the uterus. And again, it will start preparing the wall. 
and again it will come out with the egg along with the uterine wall and that is the menstruation do you get me yes any all of you see if you don't speak out i will not know neither you will know that you know the answer or not you got my point what i'm saying yes 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 thank you so please but whenever whatever i ask ask me i mean tell me proper answer give me proper answer i don't want any silence from your side okay now what is menarche uh, is when the menstruation start it is known as menarche and in some places it has been celebrated it's a festival you know that more of uh, uh, we will find in kerala south whenever a girl gets into period there is a big function this is an event which is being celebrated so there is nothing bad about it but this is part of our life so don't feel any uh, this thing uh, i find that some of you feel that it's wrong something nothing it's a part of our life is it clear yes hello yes thank you so from today you should feel in a different manner now totally what is menopause uh, when the age of 40 or 50 yeah when it again depends upon genetic it again depends upon the genetic inheritance uh the age of menopause changes it could be between 40 to 50 okay uh the period stops good thank you at least you tried better so reproductive phase of life in humans please start reading let's see what happens in female start. in female um, in female the reproductive phase of life begins at puberty puberty <coughs> and generally last till the age of approximately 45 to 50 years so what does that mean 45 to 50 years menopause right you agree yes 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 and what is puberty menarche yes yes so see the things if i ask a menarche you should not be shocked yes menarche is puberty whenever when the day you get the period you are no more a child what did what did i say just now the day you got your period the child is is gone now you are becoming you are getting into an adulthood are you getting my point you are moving towards becoming yes. yes so we yes. should celebrate beta we should celebrate we should feel good about it i think i'm changing you people isn't it yeah feel happy about it never feel sorry about it. because accept yeah. it if you accept it there will be no problem in your personality okay what happens over here beta let's see when ovum matures and is released by one of the ovaries once in about 28 to 30 days during this period the wall of uterus become becomes thick so as to receive the egg in case it is fertilized and begins to develop you understand now now why this uterine wall now i'm going to draw and here is ovary here is ovary now always remember we have got two ovaries right we have got two ovaries okay beta these are the ovaries and this is the uterus now the uterus wall uterine wall is becoming thick on the both the sides now i'm giving you certain facts that you will be shocked if this month which is this month with a november yes or no be with me participate then only i will be uh, you know like with full of jest yes okay so if this is left and this is right okay beta so yes. november november left ovary has released egg it has released egg now it goes from here right so it's, i think i've done a, a, a good diagram yes yes 
So this egg is going here. This egg is left is so left will come on the left uterine wall. What do you say? Yes. Left will come on the left yes. uterine wall if November. Yes. In yes. December, this will be functional. Now, the left ovary will not be functional. Which ovary will be functional, beta? The right ovary. Right, right. Yes. It's alternating. If this month it is November, November left ovary. So December it has to be. Hundred percent, it has to be right ovary. Do you get me? Yes. So every yes. alternate ovary is functional in respective months. Do you understand? Yes. Left yes. this month, right next month. This is how it happens. Now, for example, the right ovary is functional. Then the egg will start from here. It will come on the right side of the uterine wall. You got my point. Now, why yes. is getting ready for the egg? Which will be fertilized and then it will stick implant to the uterine wall, and it will stick and the baby will grow over here. You got my point? But now it is not required. So the egg and the uterine wall from both the sides are removed from the vagina as period as menstruation flow. Am I clear to all of you? Yes. Yes. Crystal clear. There should be no misapprehension. There should be no uh, dilemma, no confusion whatsoever. Understood now? Because the ovum or the egg is not required by the body. Even the thick uterine wall is not required by the body. So it sheds off, and when it is shedding off, you get the cramps, you get the pain. The pain is due to the uterine wall, the spasm. Understood better? Yes. Yes. I hope I've tried my very best. Uh, the, some people are very confused in this matter. They don't understand what is happening. Uh, so you know, a lot of misconception, like stories they make. This not this all science, nothing else. What are the periods? Twenty-eight to thirty days. When do you get this uh, uh, period of menstruation? Twenty-eight uh, to thirty days. Twenty-eight to thirty days. Okay, and. During that period, this uterine wall is getting thick to get that fertilized egg. But now the fertilized egg is not there, so it is flushed out of the body. Okay, so the egg and the uterine wall are removed from the body in the form of menstruation flow. So it's another way of uh, seeing what is menstruation. Please read better. Read better. Menstruation mm. and fertilization does not occur. The released egg and the thickened lining of the uterus, along with its blood vessel, are shed off. Understood now. The same thing you did just now. What do you say? Yes. 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 I also read the same. It's a bit different thing. It's written as shed off. That is removed. It was written like that. So when fertilization is not occurring. The obvious egg is not wanted. It is removed along with the uterine wall, the thick lining of the uterine wall. So when it is removed, so blood vessels are also removed. So from where you get blood? The blood is the blood vessels because that skin is removed. The wall is removed, so blood vessels are shed off, and that causes bleeding in women, which is called as menstruation. I've tried my very best, better by explaining, by giving you all sorts of slides, so that you have got the clarity. There's no ifs and buts that it will, it may happen this way, it is that way. No, it has to happen in only this way. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Fine. So, this bleeding is called as menstruation, and. How many days it takes? Twenty-eight to thirty days that we have already read. Okay. But you must be wondering why Ma'am has taken so many slides again and again. This is making you revise sort of a drill better. It's a new subject altogether. More you see, more you read, it gets confirmed, and it becomes so easy for you. It's a it's a totally new topic for you people. Remember that. So it becomes quite easy for you to understand. Please read. 
Read beta, I'm waiting. Okay. The first menstrual menstrual flow begins at the. There's no the. Beta, there's no the over there. Whatever is written, read that. Okay. At puberty, it is not at the puberty. That's a wrong English. The first menstrual flow begins at puberty. So read properly, so your English will also improve. Beta. Okay. Read beta. The first men menstrual flow begins at uh, at puberty in term that uh, termed as menarche at okay. forty five to fifty years of ago the menstrual it's cycle stops. Better it is age. Please read properly. It is age, not ago. At forty five to fifty year years of age, the menstrual men menstrual cycle stop okay that is called as what is this called as menopause what is called as menopause 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 then stoppage of menstruation is termed menopause okay initially men menstrual cycle may cause be irregular it takes there's no some cause. time to no, there's regular. no cause Just a moment. Read. What are you reading, beta? So there's no cause over there. Is there any cause? No. So why did you uh, include it? Initially, menstrual cycle may be irregular. Okay. It happens to everybody. It happens with you people also, isn't it? It is always irregular when it starts because the body is getting adapted to that new stage. So it takes some time. And later on, what is how it becomes? It becomes regular. Okay. Is there yeah. any difficulty in this slide? Any difficulty in this slide, Vita? No. All of you? Yes. Okay. Now, how do we decide sex in humans? In the baby? In the baby? Earlier. uh parents would ask doctors to find out the sex of the baby isn't it the the parents were having many female children uh, so they would ask the doctors whether the child uh, is a boy or a girl before delivery i think you are also aware of it now it is banned now it is a crime you cannot identify you cannot find out the sex of a baby when it is in the mother's womb okay now it has become illegal earlier it was legal the doctors would inform the um, the parent that the baby is a boy or a girl earlier before the delivery now it is completely banned or stopped do you understand yes yeah. so let's start to read please start reading i will read one line by line huh? because i have to stop you this is all new to you so i wish that i will stop you and then we will explain line by line start sex determination in humans human beings have 23 pairs of chromosomes in the nucleus of the cell fine just a moment now this is a cell and this is a nucleus a nucleus has got chromosomes like this i think i have explained to you how this chromosomes look like yes remember this is chromosomes so in the nucleus this is a nucleus this is a nucleus you have got so many chromosomes and on single chromosome for example there are dot like structures these are called as genes what are they called as genes Gene. and these genes will have the characters of your parents so one gene will one chromosome will be from papa the other chromosome will be from mama and all the characters will be on that so your eyes look like papa your hair looks like mama your nose your spine looks like papa or mother you are getting my point what i am saying so depending upon the genes which yes. are dominant in the body of the baby the characters are shown so obviously you resemble a bit like your parents isn't it 
you look uh, similar to your parents. Yeah? Got it? Yeah. Okay. So, where do you get this chromosomes, Veta? Nucleus. And how many pairs of chromosomes do we have? 23 pairs. That means how many chromosomes do we have? 46. If I said 23 pairs, so 23 into 2 is 46 number of chromosomes we have. Any problems so far? No. Okay. Now, no. out of this, 23 pairs of chromosomes, how many chromosomes are? Read, Veta. Out of these two chromosomes are sex chromosomes called X and uh, chromosomes. Y chromosomes. Y. Mm. Called X and Y chromosomes. Okay. Now, out of this, there are two chromosomes. That chromosomes are sex chromosomes, namely X and Y chromosomes. Okay. Understood all of you? So, X yeah. and Y chromosomes are also called as sex chromosome. What are they called as better? Hello? Sex chromosomes. Now let's see. Let's start with female. The female has two X chromosomes and male has one X and one Y chromosome. So female has got XX chromosomes. Male has got XY chromosomes. Understood? Yes. Okay. So that means we have got XX. Boys have got XY chromosomes. We understood now? What are the what chromosomes we have with the XX? What yes. chromosomes your papa or your brother will have XY chromosomes. You understand now? Your mother will also have XX chromosomes. Are you understanding? Yes. Yes. Then the sperms and eggs have one set of sex chromosomes. Just a moment. Sperms will have XY. Eggs will have XX chromosomes. Do you agree with me? Yes. Okay. See, that's why I'm going line by line. The things will be easy for you to understand. Then? Some sperms have X chromosome and some have Y chromosome. All eggs have X chromosomes. So you know you got a difference. All eggs will have X chromosome only. But the male has got some sperms will have X chromosomes and some sperms will have Y chromosome. You understand? Yes. The units with XX chromosome of eggs. If X chromosome of sperm Unites with X chromosome of egg, it will be a girl child. If Y chromosome of sperm unites with X chromosome of egg, it will be a male child. So, who determines the sex of the baby? Mother or father? Father. Father. But see, what is happening? Mother is being accused. Don't you think in our society? Mother is being accused that mother is the one who is responsible for getting so many uh, girl child or girl children. Don't you think so? People do say so, no? Isn't it? But she is helpless. She is not responsible. Who is responsible? Father is responsible. Yes. All of you understood nicely? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. See how I will show you how it happens. Yes, read better. All these are very important. Huh? Even in 10 standard, it will be useful to you. If a sperm yes. having X chromosome fuses with an egg having X chromosome, the child will be a girl. Agree? Yes. Okay. Next. If a sperm having Y chromosome fuses with an egg, egg having X chromosome, the child will be a boy. What do you say? Yes. Tell me what do you say? Okay, now we will say human sex determinants. This is XY and this is XX, right? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. The father's sperm has got X and X unites with mother X. What it becomes? XX. That is girl. Father Y chromosome unites with X chromosome of mother. 
We get x y is the boy. Got it? It's maths. Simple maths. What are we doing? Here, yeah? multiplying. X and X. We are multiplying X and Y. See. Got it? Yes. See, male, what is it has? X, Y. Female, what it has? X, S. Yes? Yes. This is X bomb. This is Y bomb. This is only X, X. Okay? So this X unites with this, we will have a girl child. What we will have? X, X. This is X, X. Okay? Again, this is X. This x unites with y, we will get x, y. So this is a boy chain. Any problem? Any problem? No. Because the sperms no. have got... No. Because the sperms have got different sets of chromosomes. One is having x, the other one is having y. Got a difference? Yes. Now, when this becomes XX, it will be a female child, and when it becomes XY, it will be a male child. So easy, isn't it? It's so easy. You yes. find it difficult at all? Yes. Mm -hmm. So easy it is. So, how is the sex of the baby determined, boy or girl? How it is determined? So, we'll go to chromosomes level. Where do we get chromosomes better? Just now I told you. Where do we get chromosomes? Inside egg or zygote. No chromosomes, I said. You, you do not understand what I'm asking you. Chromosomes. Where do we get chromosomes? Hello? What did it teach you? What was this? What was this? Hello? Yes, ma'am. What is this? See? Nucleus. So we get chromosomes in the nucleus. I've been telling you again and again. Chromosome is observed in the nucleus. Isn't it? Yes. How come you forgot? How come you forgot better? Just now I explained everything to you. So chromosome you get in nucleus. Okay. And you get nucleus everywhere, eggs, zygotes, sperm, everywhere, cell, everywhere you have this nucleus. And in the nucleus we get chromosomes. Just read. Read better. Chromosomes inside the fertilized egg or zygote. Better, better. Allow others to read better. We have read many slides, I think so. Allow others to read. Yeah. Who is it, Bitter? Name Shifa Dabana. Okay, Shifa, read. Chromosomes. Inside the fertilized egg or zygote is the, is the instruction for determining the sex of the baby. The Fine. So, actually, just, just, just a moment. So, who is determining the sex of the baby? Chromosomes. Got it? Okay. Now, this instruction... Where is it present? Say. This, this instruction is present the thread like structures called chromosomes. These yeah. chromosomes are present inside the nucleus of every cell. All humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes inside the nucleus of their cell. Understood or not? If it is egg, the nucleus have 23 pairs of chromosome. If it is sperm, it has also got 23 pairs of chromosome. Do you understand? 
the 22 pairs will be similar in both the 23rd pair sperm will have x and y the females will have x x that's uh, that's the only difference okay okay, okay. Peter? Yes. so if i say how many pairs of chromosomes do we have beta 23 23 pairs which is the sex chromosome how many pairs of sex chromosome do we have two one pair what you will say in all two but it is called as one pair what you will say beta one, one, one pair one, one pair, pair is two isn't it so in sperm we have xy and in uh, egg we have xx any problem no. Okay. Now we will do sex chromosomes. Read. Two sex chromosomes. Two chromosomes out of 30, 23 pairs of chromosomes are sex chromosomes. Who is reading? Shifa Dabani. Okay. Then. These are named as X and Y. Female. They have one X and one Y chromosome. No, it is not female. It is male. Female. They mean? have two X chromosomes. Male. They have one X and one Y chromosome. So I think things are clear. Yes, ma'am. The revision is done. This is revision. Better. Yes. Now we will see chromosomes in egg and sperm. Read. Read chromosomes, better. Chromosomes in eggs and sperm. The gametes, egg and sperm have only one set of chromosomes. Hmm. This is the egg. You can see the set? Egg. The unfertilized egg always have one X chromosome. Sperms. These are of two types. One kind has an X chromosome and other kind has an Y chromosome. So, same repetition it is. The gametes. Now, I'm giving another terminology. Gametes. So, the sex cell. In female, we have got the egg. And in male, we have got the sperm. These are also named as gametes. What are they called as beta? Gametes. Yes. So if I say male gamut, so what will be the name of the male gamut beta? How much time are you taking? Sperms. Sperm. Female gamut? Egg. So they have one set of chromosomes. Is it it? Egg and sperm have got one set of chromosomes. If the egg now, egg is not fertilized. So, what sort of chromosome it will have? Egg sex. Egg chromosome. Fertilized. Now, how many types of... So, that means egg is only one type. Whereas, sperm is of two types. One type will have X chromosome. The other type will have Y chromosome. And that, when it unites with egg, if it is XX, then it is a girl. If it is XY, then it is a boy. Any problem? No. How that fertilization develops into boy? Start. Boy, if the sperm contribute a Y chromosome to the egg ovum at fertilization, the zygote will develop into a male child, as shown in next as shown in next slide. Now, if sperm of Y category, having Y chromosome, unites with egg or ovum at fertilization. So from egg, what, have, what will I have? X chromosome. And the Y chromosome of sperm fertilizes. What I will get? Zygote. So whenever the gamete fertilizes, fertilizes, what we get with a zygote. So this zygote will have which type of chromosome? 
X and Y. Right? Yes. What will happen? It will develop into a male child. Now let's see, girl. When a sperm contain contain Containing. containing X chromosome fertilize the egg, the zygote will have two X chromosome and develop into a female child, as shown in next slide. Now sperm, which is having X chromosome, it fertilizes the egg, that is the female gamete. What we get zygote. This zygote will have two chromosome of XX. Which type of chromosome it will have? XX. So obviously, it will develop into a female child. So far, any problem with her in this yeah. life? See, Y type of chromosome of sperm unites with X. What we get? XY, a male child. Similarly, X type of sperm chromosome unites with X of female or the egg. What we get? Female. Female, XX. That's all. So I've tried at least giving you three, four slides. To show the sex determination in humans. Endocrine glands and their function. Now, how all these changes are happening in the body? Because of certain secretion by the glands. The first one is endocrine glands. Please. Read. Read better. Endocrine glands and their and their functions. Endocrine glands produce chemical substance called uh, hormones, which uh, which controls different different functions in the body. The main end endocrine glands are. Pituitary, thyroid, adrenal, pancreas, testes, and ovary. Read it again. Read it again. Hello? Girls, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. How to read it? Uh, Main endocrine glands are. Ma'am, your voice is not clear. Now? You read it, Rebecca. Ma'am, it's clear only. Huh. That doesn't matter. Sometimes it happens. Continue. Pituitary gland, thyroid gland, and. Adrenal. Ed Adrenal gland, pen, and pancreas, pancreas, testes, and ovary. Okay, so you have to remember all these glands, names of the glands. These are the types of endocrine glands pituitary, thyroid, adrenal gland, pancreas, testes, and ovary. Now let's do one by one. So it's what is happening? See, now your body is into puberty. Why? How, how it happened? Because now hormones are liberated in your blood. It is a part. It is from where it is liberated? From endocrine glands. And who is controlling it? Pituitary gland. So that's why pituitary gland is called as master gland of the body. You got it? Yes. Okay. So now we will read these endocrine glands one by one. The first one is pituitary gland. Controls growth and production of hormones by test, by test. Thyroid okay. gland. 
just a moment. Let, let me finish with her. Pituitary gland. So what it is doing? It is controlling the growth of your body and also controlling the production of 